Chad is a landlocked country of more than 13 million people located in West Central Africa. In Eastern Chad, there are 12 camps for refugees from the Darfur region of Sudan. In Jabal Camp, just outside the town of Gozbeda, JRS is expanding our partnership with Jesuit Commons Higher Education at the Margins and has started a new program in the camp that will eventually offer an online, university-level diploma program. I think JCHM, it's first, it's a very beautiful program. No? It's something completely new. We are trying to form people, we are trying to form leaders. The program will enable graduates to become more independent and self-reliant. The first classes are designed to prepare the students to fully participate in the online courses. In January of 2015, after entrance exams and interviews, 42 refugees started to learn English. The goal is to um, get the students ready so that they can study the diploma in one year and a half from now. The importance of the English language class, I suppose, is to raise the English language level to such a point in the camp where uh, refugees will be able to pursue an online diploma with a Jesuit universities in, in the United States. Classes in computer use are next on the schedule. They learn how to use a computer, they start using basic programs as Microsoft Office, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Uh, they start to learn how to use the internet, so uh, skills that will help them. Students like Daoud, a 21-year-old refugee from Darfur, are motivated to increase their knowledge to aid their community. Because I want to be a doctor. There is no more doctors here, so I want to be a doctor in order to help my community in Croatia. They're very motivated in general. They're really focused on the fact that this could lead them to a third level qualification with the US University. They have that focus in mind. They're all very conscious. Most of them are educators. They're very con conscious of the importance of education, both for themselves and for the community at large. They're conscious of what this learning can bring to their community. It is giving opportunities to people that don't have them. And then the fact that we are focusing on, on forming leaders more than just giving them a skill set. They are building, the, the idea is to form people as itself. And so that can be a base for them to then study something else. Education is probably the one hope if you educate yourself to a sufficient level that you can um, get a, a job of, of a decent standard and provide for your family and perhaps some leadership for your community. And I think JC Hem really targets that and, you know, it, it really appeals to, to the refugees who see the hope in it. Hawa, a 20-year-old, knows that education is a key to her future. The life without education, like the tea without sugar. If you educate yourself, your life will be good and your life will be nice. 